So I wanted to freestyle a little bit. I want to talk about a book I just read or listened to on Audible. It's called The Game by Neil Strauss. It's about pickup artists, the, un the secret underground layer behind pickup artists and how to pick up women and hypnotize them and get them to sleep with you. And for someone who is happily married with children, it might make you wonder why I'm reading this book or why I read it. Well, first of all, um, I listened to a lot of Tim Ferriss podcasts and um, I heard him talk and he's got some really great ideas. He's a really good writer, a great storyteller. And uh, I, think I, I think I heard him for a second interview on another podcast and I pretty much just decided to pick up his book. Uh, I just wanted to hear what the game is about. And it's fascinating. I mean, it's basically about picking up women, but more than that, it's about sex. And who doesn't, who doesn't find sex interesting? It's a real fascinating read. Uh, definitely great on Audible. There will be a link in the description. But what I found about that was interesting about the book is that it's just – it's a really great story about how someone that basically did not know how to talk to women or could not get a girlfriend for the life of them or could not get, have sex and, and or have the confidence around especially beautiful women, how he's able to overcome it. It's a pretty interesting story. Uh, and it's kind of led me into a different path, and that path is uh, learning about NLP again, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And it's sort of a way of understanding how to communicate and read other people. And sort of what I'm beginning to realize about myself, because I, I studied NLP in the past, but never really dove into it a lot. But if you notice kind of how I'm talking, you see how I'm kind of gesturing with my hand. Uh, I have a tendency to, I think, look down more. Uh, so that a lot of that has to do with feelings and thinking or feeling thinking, which is, and with the gestures means in kinesthetics, I tend to be a much more kinesthetic, uh, kind of communicator, which is probably why I'm a personal trainer, why I love powerlifting, why I love strength training. It's also another reason why I have a tendency to talk slow at times or communicate slow. I, I talk well sometimes. I think I'm talking fairly decent right now, but one of the biggest challenges is that sometimes I'm not very quick witted to say something right away because I have to think think and feel process and then turn to words whereas people who are a little bit more visual or more auditory i think it's more visual i tend to be much more quick and fast especially if you're a visual learner and so this is kind of made me want to read more about nlp and i picked up richard bandler's book it's a transcribed lecture it's called princes and the frogs it's a pretty interesting book i'm about 20 pages in and it's essentially understanding that although there is a lot of stuff against NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, it's really mostly that it's just it's because you're re reading it and it says that we're not really trying to prove anything. He, he, says, say he says in the book, you know, we're basically lying to you, but we're not really looking for scientific research. We're looking for what works. And kind of me talking about this subject and learning and teaching you, if you're watching this video, I'm learning a lot about myself and that's my... I'm trying to use NLP or try to get a sense for, for other people and try to read people better and communicate better. And I'm learning I'm very kinesthetic. I also have trouble making eye contact with people because that's actually a really big part of being able to read people. You'll look at their eyes and you got to see where it goes. And that's one of my biggest challenges. I'm terrible with eye contact. Um, I hate looking at people in the eyes. It's uncomfortable. I do my best to avoid it as much as possible. So i got to get in a better habit of being able to look people in the eye and obviously not stare them down but i think i'm gonna talk more about this on my public speaking channel if you happen to find this topic interesting please leave a comment it does motivate me to post more on this on this channel it is only has only 30 subscribers but the interaction really does kind of help motivate me only takes one thanks for listening and i'll see you guys on the next video